the studio audience see what my suit looked like. It seems to me, it's, it's kind of like, uh, what's the name of that thing that finds radiation? Uh, Geiger counter. It's like, it makes us, like, the audience are like, mm, pretty quiet, pretty quiet, and then suddenly... My next guest is a legendary Hollywood producer, a giant icon in Hollywood, and I really wanted to impress him tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a new film called The Untouchables. It's actually a very beautiful film. It's in theatres now. Take a look at this. It's lovely to see you. I, I, first of all, I'm very glad you wore a black suit. And also, <laughs> we tried to create an authentic art house cinema feel for you this evening. More, more like a low budget thing. Well, right? it's low budget we do most nights. But this, we have this, the kind of, we have this kind of Lars von Trier, completely bleak look to it. I think it's, what do you think? I think it's great. Thanks, man. I think it's great. And thanks for being support. Listen, this film's beautiful. Thank you, Craig. It's beautiful. It's Thank a, you. A, but it's in French. Yes. Yeah, you're going to have a problem there. But, it's, but, but there are titles. <laughs> there are titles, but people, I mean, you've got a lot of people going to resist the, the subtitled movies, like, if I want to read, I read a blog. Yeah. <laughs> but this movie is like, you know, the movies that I've done, like Life is Beautiful, the Roberto That's Benigni true. movie, like Amelie, you know, Cinema Paradiso, El Postino. And you know what? It's worth it to get there culture. First of all, anybody who sees this movie, as you know, it's a hilarious movie Very and it's funny, a great yeah. feel-good movie, yeah. too. It's worth the subtitles. Yeah, it is. Uh, we should have subtitles <laughs> on this show, I think. <laughs> Especially tonight. Well, tonight, <laughs> subtitles just break up the screen a little bit, make it a little, a little more light on it. I, I, you know, the way you, you're with your accent, I could have used some subtitles, hey, too. Hey, 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 See? Well, I don't know why. They what? pitched me their movies. I'm right. doing every one of them. <laughs> Do people pitch you movies all the time? I the whole audience. The pe <laughs> people pitch you movies all the time. It's your like whole, your whole Your life. whole staff just did. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, they're desperate to get out of here, but yeah. I have this idea for a movie. <laughs> A guy and a Tell robot me. skeleton live in a basement. Right. And they do a, a talk show. Mm hmm that's, that's all I got. In, in the dark. In the dark, yeah. Right. Nobody watches it, but they fall in love. And then they, and then they, uh, one of them learns things, and it's in French. Right. So... And who plays the robot? I don't know yet. Who plays, who plays the talk show host? Um, I'm thinking Arsenio Hall. <laughs> I think we got chronic ur in the audience. I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll green light it. Do, do you do you go and see your movie? Like when you do you now? Do you produce this movie or did you? This is a movie that we acquired. The movie. You know the the movies that are international. Right. Are a lot of the movies we acquired last year. You think subtitles are tough? Last year I released the artist. Did oh, anybody yeah, see yeah, that yeah, movie? Yeah, it was a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it won this little thing called the Academy Award. Yeah, I never and it, heard of it. And it didn't yeah. even have subtitles. That's true. It well, had it was, nothing. People didn't even say anything. It was a silent movie. Yeah, no, I saw it. So it was, I think this is a step up for us. I think if you... At least there's had, sound in this movie. I think, though, if you'd have had dialogue in the, in the artist, it, it might have done a little better. Could have been... It could have been... <laughs> could have won an Oscar for that thing. Could, it could have been the Avengers, it right? Could have been, yeah, <laughs> but do, do, is that the kind of movie you like? Do you like... like Listen, you know, I make all of Quentin Tarantino's movies. Yeah, I and, the, and the one that's coming up, Django Unchained... Is yeah. Unbelievable. He's crazy. He is Quentin crazy and it's great. Yeah. And then we do movies like this, you know, that are fun and smart and different. You know, we how do, how do you and Quentin get along? I'd be interested in that because Quentin's a very strong personality and I guess you're no shrinking violet either. How, do, how does that work out? Because Quentin is really... I've always wanted to be a shrinking violet. Yeah, <laughs> come on, man. Everybody... I'm just a teddy bear. No, Quentin. no, man. You're, bu no. you're buying all that Hollywood. No, man. No, no, not no. true. No. How do Quentin and I get along? We've made, I guess it's been about 20 years. We've done every movie together. I love him. He's like family to me. Right. And, you know, and we, we've taken these, this great journey together. 
from Weserwa dogs, you mean all the way through. Actually, you guys bang heads a lot, though. Do you argue? We, we've had a couple of arguments. Yeah, see, know. I think that would be fun you to know, watch. But then, you know, Quen's, Quen's won most of them, I will tell you, yeah. for the good of the movie, too. He is, he's a very knowledgeable. Are you very knowledgeable about the, uh, about the archive stuff? I mean, Quentin can pull movies out of nowhere and say, oh, yeah, in that Japanese movie in 1928, there was this. And do you, can you do I, all that I, stuff? I know, I know my share, but I'm not Quentin or, right. or, or Marty Scorsese. Those are the two smartest directors when it comes to the history of movies. Right. But, but there's so many great movies to see, though. Classic movies. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of them. And they're so well lit. I, I, every time... <laughs> But they're in black and white, so they have a lot. Yeah, to, they're very do reminiscent. You have, do you have a type of movie that you that that you personally like that you would never have for your company? Like, would you say, like, I, you know, you would watch a movie abroad, like you're going to acquire a movie, you go, that's a great movie, but it's not for us, or do you just buy stuff you like? I, I, I you know, when we're buying movies, I buy stuff we like, and when we produce movies, I just try to do something different. You know, you can still entertain an audience, you can still challenge an audience. I just think, you know, we're sick of predictable stuff. Right. I mean, you can see stuff. You go to a movie. Every move, every CGI movie looks the same. The guy always breaks up into black particles. Yeah. yeah. Mean, to me, that's boring. Yeah, you know, yeah. Whatever. I want to do something interesting. And in my movies, words are special effects. And and I like the idea that people communicate. Yeah. I, that's that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> He's asleep, folks. <laughs> no, no, it's nice. I, I think that the, the thing is, for me, a movie is, is going to be... Then again, I did Inglorious Bastards, well, Pulp yeah, Fiction. Yeah. But Inglorious Bastards... A lot, a lot Bastard, of killing going well, on. Inglorious Bastards is a great movie. It's a great movie. Do you know what I'm always surprised at? And this is Brad Pitt. And that movie, Inglorious Bastards, that guy should have won an Oscar for that. Part. Listen, Brad Pitt should have won an Oscar a long time ago. I think so, too. Isn't he a terrific actor? He is a great actor. I think it's because he's so handsome that they go, ah, he can't be that good. He's an unbelievably good actor. And you, you have a lot in common with I him. I do. Right? We're very handsome. <laughs> and we've both not won an Oscar. <laughs> Although I think, I, I, I think his chances are a little better than mine. Slightly. Yeah. I have a new movie with Brad Cole, Killing Them Softly. We premiered it in Cannes, and he's amazing in this movie. Maybe yeah. this will be the year that he does win. Well, he should. It's about time. And I'll tell the Academy you said so. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, everybody.